the Committee of Chiefs of the FEN staff of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, say it has fine-tuned its military intervention plans in Niger Republic. On Thursday, ECOWAS said it had begun the activation of its standby force in the Niger Republic to restore constitutional order. Speaking during the closing ceremony of the two-day meeting on Friday, ECOWAS Commissioner for Political Affairs, Peace and Security, Abdel Fatal Musa said the defense chiefs had agreed on a day to intervene. Musa added that the regional body is still seeking to engage peacefully with Niger's military leaders. ECOWAS had agreed to use force as a last resort if diplomatic efforts failed to restate ousted President Mohamed Bazoum was toppled and detained since July 26 coup. The military junta had also defied the bloc's deadline to relinquish power, leading to ECOWAS' deployment of standby military troops last week. For more on that story, Fidel Owusu, who is an international affairs analyst, joins me now from Ghana. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Now, does ECOWAS' determination to intervene militarily necessarily uh, assure strength? Um, well, um, th thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, I believe that um, whatever that is happening in the region is not making anyone happy. Uh, the junta itself is not happy that this is happening, and the ECOWAS uh, um, at large is not also happy. But the most important thing is that as a regional organization, they want to uh, show that they have some teeth to bite. And so this meeting was to send a clear message that, look, intervention is not off the table. We are going to use diplomacy or the political solution to solve this problem. However, if all options fail, then we will militarily intervene in order to restore democracy back in Niger. So we, we see that um, beyond Niger Republic now, there are other states um, that are currently facing the same situation. But we didn't see, you know, the same, um, you know, response that we are seeing now from ECOWAS. So why is Niger Republic different? Yes, this is very important. Now, uh, in Mali and Burkina Faso, when the coups happened, the junta mainly blamed the whole thing on insecurity, that the Al-Qaeda affiliates and ISIS affiliates running amok in the region are causing instability, and the civilian governments are not having the capacity or the competence to direct the military as to what to do in order to fight violent extremism. So in a way, some people or some regional actors had understood the situation in the case of Mali and Burkina Faso. Even then, there were some sanctions that were uh, put on these countries. But Niger relatively was stable. In fact, even though uh, Boko Haram and other groups are terrorizing parts of Niger, Recording in Niger, progress. Has been, Niger, Niger has been very, very um stable or comparatively stable if you would compare them with, it with the rest of these countries that has coup or military junta ruling them and so when it happened in niger people thought that well if niger that has relative stability or security is facing this then definitely it will move on to other more stable countries or more peaceful countries like Benin. Republic of Benin, like Nigeria, like Ghana, and other places, Cote d'Ivoire, and, and so on and so forth. So ECOWAS is now becoming more conscious of being preventive rather than reactive to coup, so that if um, it uh, intervened in Niger or put more or harsher sanctions, then it becomes deterrence to other soldiers who are planning to do the same in other jurisdictions. So reports are just coming in now that um, the ECOWAS uh, military uh, are in Niger uh, currently. W what do you make of this? Well, uh, that is not fully established. Uh, last time when I was having an interview with your um, news agencies, uh, the breaking news came in. However, Niger is a very vast area that any penetration or any establishment of some force will not be too difficult because you can even go and start from the desert in the north or in the uh, eastern section where there is sparsely populated. But in the south, where the population is very 
uh, more dense or more uh, uh, concentrated, you will not have it easy because then the junta is well established in the south where the population is, is, is more concentrated. So any part of Niger can be a starting point for an ECOWAS force or standby force. However, the most important thing is taking Niamey, which is the capital of Niger. If you took the capital, then you have an advantage. However, as I mentioned the other time, after taking that capital, you will then have to face either a guerrilla warfare or other um, tactics that may not be too comfortable for ECOWAS forces. Well, um, I beg your pardon, Fidel. It's the ECOWAS uh, delegation, but um, still, um, it's a wait and see situation. And we hope we are hopeful that um, the Niger junta uh, will see reason with ECOWAS and you know form an agreement or uh, release um, the, the president, that's uh, President Mohamed Bazoum. But um, Fidel Uwosu, international affairs analyst, thank you very much for joining us and for your insight.